Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online TV and Radio Network, restoring vitality to you and the planet. And if you hear heavy breathing, I have a big black lab right beside me that wants to be on the show. And I said, no, you can't. So he's just right here. So we have a couple of questions from the fibromyalgia group that we wanted to talk about. This is not so much... Uh, not so much a question, but I wanted to talk about it because one of my mentors always says short-term gain for long-term pain or short-term pain for long-term gain. And I think that fibromyalgia is a very good example of short-term gain for long-term pain. In other words, we do these things on a daily basis that don't help us, and over time, cause our bodies to break down, right? So this lady says, thinking about treating myself to a 75-inch large TV for my lounge. What do you people think? I want to go all out as I'm homebound anyway and want to enjoy my home even more. I know it's three payments of 240 pounds, so $260 probably. But wowzer, imagine Christmas films on that. Life is hard enough as it is living with this pain. So I'm thinking there's seven, eight hundred dollars that she's going to spend on entertainment, and she's going to sit there. She's going to be stagnant. I don't know how restful or relaxing watching a TV is actually going to be. She's also going to get all the light and and the wrong type of lights on her, which is causing her cells to react pro improperly. And she's not spending it on things that might actually improve her health. That's my take on it. Martin, anything you'd like to say? Well, she started out by saying, I'm housebound anyway. So I don't really know her circumstance. What What is it? What makes her housebound? Is she wheelchair or... I don't know, right? It's I don't want to judge anything or anyone. If if she wants to be entertained, be entertained. I personally have a 40-inch TV and I find it to be already plenty big. So something that's 75 inch is just frighteningly huge. It would be putting out a lot of electromagnetic radiation that I would not enjoy getting at me. And Scott, you correctly pointed out the blue light. That doesn't help anything. That's that's a uh, anti-healing experience, if anything. She may already have a TV. If I had eight hundred dollars, I personally would invest it in in trying a few things. Um, we have been describing the plan, right? Our plan is, and, and you mentioned short-term gain over the long-term pain. This is the exact method by which the pharmaceutical industry treats their clients, their customers. They call them patients, but it's really a business relationship. And the relationship is this. We give you just enough to make you feel a little better, but not so much as to heal you. We're not interested in removing you from our customer list. We want you to be on it for the rest of your life. So that, that to me means that the drugs, the chemical drugs that you take to stop pain or stop feeling or stop noticing are the epitome of the short-term thinking. Mm. So the long-term thinking would have you do this. Toxicity, malnutrition, stagnation, and trauma. These are the four concepts, each of which needs to be resolved somehow. Um, toxicity, you can take a test and find out how much of toxic metals or plastics or other volatile organic compounds you have. You could take organic acid test, which, which would help you determine what nutritional deficiencies 
are causing you the troubles. You would be able to figure out, if you do the metabolic typing test, you will figure out what foods are hurting you and why, and how you could adjust your diet to do better. The stagnation, I don't know, in this case, it may be problematic if somebody's housebound, how much movement can she do? I have a rebounder in the, in the room here and I get on it a couple of times a day to get my lymph moving. And of course, if I can find the time, I go for a walk. So is that a good idea to spend your money on hedonistic pleasures? Perhaps, but it's also a sign of giving up. And uh, that's strategy that I do not recommend.